we're talking drones today. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Richard Quintana and today I am super excited because this FPV drone is my new toy. Now I'm sure you've seen a bunch of videos already out there about the DJ Avada, Aveda, Avada, tomato, tomato. But I'm super excited because I actually bought this for a specific project that I have coming up next week where we plan on flying through a $75 million home. Hopefully we don't break anything. This is going to be my first time shooting an FPV drone and honestly, I could not be more excited. So here I got the, I believe it's a fly more combo. I don't know. They, they have so many different combos. I don't know why they make it so complicated, but basically my combo comes with the actual drone and then the goggles two, not to be confused with the version two or the V2 or I don't know the other goggles. They're bigger, they're chunkier. Some people like them. Some people don't like them. This is going to be my first time using the goggles. So all I have to compare are these new ones. One thing though, that I was a little upset with, and we're going to open up these boxes so you guys can see the actual product. But the fact that DJI wants everyone to kind of start an FPV with like this motion controller. I am more used to, you know, the pinching of the joysticks on a regular drone. And just from playing, growing up playing video games is just easier for me. So the fact that you have to go and purchase that outside of the package is a little frustrating. I wish they would have given like either a package with both controllers or maybe an option of one or the other and not just this one, but you know, what can you do? That's that's DJI's prerogative. What I'd like to do now is kind of open these up and show you guys the actual products. And then I actually haven't even like tested this out. So I'm going today, I'm gonna take it outside and kind of give it a whirl. I have to do a lot of practice within the next couple days because I do have that job where we're gonna be flying through the house. You gotta put in some time with this. Let's uh let's check out the actual drum. All right. So first up, you have the actual Aveda drone, Avada. I'm not sure what the pronunciation is. This thing is crazy small. I don't know, I mean, it fits in the palm of my hand and it's this is going to be great for traveling. You can take this and put it almost in any little camera bag. It has the front facing camera. Now it's not a three axis gimbal, which from the reviews I've been seeing doesn't seem to really affect the stabilization. The drone itself does come with a couple of stabilization modes, but from what I've been researching, ideally you want to not use the stabilization uh, modes with the drone and then just put that footage into gyroscopic software. I believe that's the name of it. When it first came out, it didn't have the compatibility with that software, but now it does. Now, the other really cool thing about this drone is that it's very easily fixable. So if you're looking at the bottom, there's actually, there's only about like six little Allen screws on the bottom. And basically you can take off the propellers here and just replace them. Also, the fact that the axis is not a three axis camera, that's also easier to replace. So. DJI definitely built this drone with uh, the knowledge that people are going to crash it. And I really hope that I do not crash my first FPV drone. I mean, money does not grow on trees, unfortunately. And though this is kind of a cheaper option because I believe the drone itself is only around like $700 if you buy it outright. It's, you don't wanna be spending $700 every other week. <laughs> so now a quick pause for our sponsors. No, I'm just kidding. I wish Yeti would sponsor this channel or sponsor me in anything, but alas, I don't believe this is the right subject matter. All right, so the next piece of equipment that comes with this package is obviously the goggles too. Now these, from what I've heard and seen online, are substantially smaller and more comfortable than the original ones. The fact that it has the fold down antennas is really convenient, whereas the other one had four antennas that just stuck out all the time and you couldn't put them down. So traveling with these makes it really nice. I'm actually going to throw them on so you guys have an idea of what they kind of look like here 
And now I can't really see anything right now, so I'm hoping that this is in focus. You can kind of see they are pretty minimal on your face. Pretty comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Comfort level, not bad. Now, the only design flaw I would say about the goggles, so it comes with this kind of long cord that you actually have to plug this in to the goggles. And then this actually plugs in to the battery here. I'm not sure what DJI expected you to do with this battery. <laughs> Put it in your pocket. It is a, a coiled up cord, so it probably goes pretty far. But there was a YouTuber that I saw that created his own like 3D printed plastic piece that basically flips onto this thicker part of the strap and he has a battery that just attaches right there. And then with Velcro, he has like the cable all up neatly just put on the strap so it's just this and you don't have to worry about putting this in your pocket. I think that was really cool and I wonder if he sells that because that would be super convenient. Last piece of equipment is the motion controller. I am super nervous to fly this thing with uh, with this controller uh, to be 100% honest because it just it seems I don't know because it's all within your wrist and the speed and I, I don't know I'm just very nervous. I feel like I need to sit in a pilot's chair and like that's the only way that I'll be able to <laughs> use this joystick as if I'm like in some fighter pilot or something like that. But we're gonna test everything out and I'm gonna see how it goes with this controller. If I still feel like I could get more of it because the thing with this controller is that you can't really get all of the movements that you're able to with FPV drones with this controller. This is kind of like for beginners. Whereas if you purchase the actual FPV remote controller, you can actually do all the dive bombs, the like twirls upside down and like quick cutbacks and stuff like that once you're in manual mode. But we're gonna see what we can do. Enough mumbo jumbo. Let's uh, jump out into the field and test this bad boy out. I shot the beginning of this video at like 9.30 this morning and I guess I didn't realize how long the wait time for charging all the batteries and the controller and the goggles would take but we are finally on our way now i have been watching youtube videos literally all day today and all last night and the consensus seems to be that new motion controller it's fun to play with but it's not going to give you the full capabilities of what an fpv drone normally do for example like the really cool dive bombs and then like flying up flipping over and coming back down that's a little disappointing i've tried to see if i can find that fpv controller anywhere near me to the experience of both um excuse me little girls little girls move there's like two little girls in front of me right now can you guys move idiots sorry so i first started flying drones with the inspire one and that was pretty cool it was just i mean if you guys are familiar with the newest expires like it's a massive drone so it required a massive pelican case and it was just pain in the ass to take anywhere that ended up crashed it took a spill into a canal forever lost and then i got into the mavic air 2 that i had for many years until this past year i recently crashed it through user error sort of i was doing another job where i had to take off the sensors for it and I guess I just forgot to put the sensors back on. So as I was doing kind of a pan move towards a building, I thought it was going to stop once the sensors detected that there was a building there. And of course didn't because I had all my sensors turned off. That was super fun. And now this is going to be my third drone that I've purchased and hopefully I won't crash this one. But I did buy the protection plan because it's $80 and it seems dumb not to. Anywho. I'm gonna jump in the gas station real quick, grab a snack, and then let's go test out this Aveda. All right, so I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, it's kind of loud out here. There's planes flying, traffic behind me, and uh, it does look like it's going to rain a bit. Um, that's rain coming in hot over there. But. I really need to practice with this drone, so we're gonna take it out for the first flight and see what happens. Oh my god, I forgot. So you know what really sucks? 
is uh, when you plan on coming to the beach to test out a drone that you just bought and you get all the way to the beach, you have everything that you think you need and then you realize you left the one battery that you need to power the freaking goggles. So now we're going back. Uh, hopefully it's that rain holds up because then we're not gonna be able to fly at all today. I'm a little frustrated and annoyed with myself right now, but it is what it is. Can't cry over spilled milk. So let's go back and grab that battery so we can freaking test out this drone. Clearly having to drive back home to go grab one battery that I forgot because for no reason whatsoever, I just assumed I had everything in my bag except for the one battery that I was charging for the actual drone, but the battery for the goggles, I did not put into the bag. <sighs> Patience. Patience with yourself, young grasshopper. Better required. Let's go finally test this dang drone out. Oh my goodness, I literally have been waiting all day to get this thing up and flying. All right, we got the battery that I needed. Now we're gonna set it all up. All right, so remember this is my first flight. Should be interesting. Let's turn the power on. Okay, take off the gimbal guard. I feel like I am a Top Gun pilot after playing around with this thing. Maybe this is going 30 miles an hour right now. That was a crazy experience. Just that little bit of flight time, I'm already down to like a dot on the battery. First time using this thing, I was nervous. I was nervous. All right, battery number two, flight two. Let's see what happens. Well, we are currently, I didn't realize you had to update every single battery. So that's what we're currently doing. One thing I'll make a note while that's updating is like the goggles on the side here, there's some light leakage on both sides of the goggles. Saw someone else on YouTube talking about that situation, how V2 goggles, they came out with like an extra foam piece that you can put on there, which kind of helped with that light leakage. So I'm hoping they're gonna do the same with these goggle twos. And all right, we're about ready to be updated and let's uh, take her out for another flight. 